now we are doing word problems based on linear equation so let's start with a very simple question find two consecutive numbers whose sum is 49 your time starts now feel free to pause me but do give it a try the correct answer is 24 25 so did you get it right to solve any word problem we always start by assigning the variable x so let the first number be x so this means that the second number would be x plus 1 isn't it that is how we translate the English word consecutive into mathematics consecutive means one after the other let's say if one number is seven then the other number would be seven plus one that is eight so that is why we put plus one so according to this question the sum of x and x plus one should be 49 x plus x plus one is equal to 49 now what we have got here is a very simple linear equation and you're already an expert of solving linear equations this would be 2x plus 1 equal to 49 or 2x equal to 49 minus 1 that is 48 or x will be equal to 48 divided by 2 which is nothing but 24 so we have the answer x equal to 24 see that means one number is 24 and if one number is 24 then the other number would be 24 plus 1 that is 25 question solved and you can even double check the answer see 24 and 25 they are consecutive no problem with that and they also add up to 49 so as we have just seen that solving any word problem is very easy if you know how to translate English into mathematics see we translated this English sentence into this algebraic equation okay so let me just show you the simple steps to solve any word problem the first step is always to assign the variable x that is we always start by saying that let the unknown thing be x as simple as that the next step the second step would be to create an equation that is we put something on the left hand side and we put something on the right hand side and the final step that is the third step would be to balance the equation most of the times the equation that you form is balanced by default that is the left hand side and the right hand side they are already equal but in case they are not equal then you can make them equal and once we have the balanced equation then we just have to solve it so do this next question now this time you have to find three consecutive even numbers whose sum is 54 now as you can see that this question is just a scaled up version of the question that we just did that is few more conditions have been added to make a simple question more complicated so let's see how well you handle it start those three numbers are 16 18 and 20 so did you get them all right so now let me put down the steps for you so the first step to solve any word problem is to assign the variable x this is the first step so let the first number be 2x now in case you're wondering why did I put 2x and not just x the reason is that because I had to translate this word even numbers into mathematics and even numbers as you know are 
टू फोर सिक्स एट सो ऑन बेसिकली दे आर ऑल मल्टीपल्स ऑफ टू सो वी सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सी नाउ इफ द फर्स्ट नंबर इज टू एक्स देन कैन यू टेल मी वॉट वुड द सेकेंड नंबर बी येस एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इट वुड बी टू एक्स प्लस टू like if the first even number was let's say 6 then the next even number would be 8 now how do we get 8 by adding 2 to the first number and using the same logic can you tell me what would the third number be 10 and how do we get 10 by adding 4 to the first number so the third number will be 2x plus 4 see this is a very useful way of understanding the question better that is give yourself an example once you have an example in front of you everything just falls into its place you'll never make a mistake so now using these algebraic expressions we can very easily create an algebraic equation see the second step is to create an equation so that means the sum of all these expressions should be equal to 54 and since this equation is already balanced so you just have to solve it so now tell me the answer 2x plus 2x plus another 2x will be 6x and 2 plus 4 is 6 equal to 54 so this means 6x will be equal to 54 minus 6 isn't it when this plus 6 comes to this side it will become minus 6 so 54 minus 6 will be 48 also take this 6 to the other side so we would get 48 divided by 6 and since 6 8 times is 48 so x is equal to 8 so this means our first number would be 16 isn't it 2 times 8 is 16 and the second even number would be 18 and the third one would be right 20 question solved So now let's do this question. After four years, Sam will be two times as old as he was six years ago. Find his present age. Feel free to pause me, but do you the try? Start. So now I'll do it. After four years means x plus four. Sam will be two times as old as he was six years ago. Six years ago means minus six, as we are going back in the past. So with that, we have translated English into mathematics. So now, just find the value of x, and you would know his present age. X plus four equal to two x minus twelve. Two x minus x would be x, and four plus twelve would be sixteen. Isn't it? When this minus twelve will come to this side, it will become plus twelve, and four plus twelve is sixteen. That's it. Question solved. So Sam's present age is sixteen years. You see how easy it is to solve the word problems. We just need to translate the English sentence into a mathematical equation.